Okay, so uh, first thing you need to do, insert a couple parts. I'm assuming you already have parts. Make sure they are both unanchored. You can see in the properties panel they're unanchored. Uh, then we are going to drop in a weld constraint into workspace. And in the properties, uh, you see you've got part zero here and part one here. So click on the box so it's darkened and you've got this little weird cursor thing. Click on one part, click on the other property, click on the other part. And uh, now up here in the top bar, make sure this constraints thing is enabled. Um, and now, now you can move them relative to each other. It's, uh, it's not that hard to be honest. So, um, I'm not sure. Maybe the problem you're having is with join surfaces. I don't know. Nope. That's not the problem. I don't know, man. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, how you do the thing and you can change the size and they'll still keep their orientation to each other. Cool stuff. And uh, also you can change, you can disable constraints and then drag them independently and then re-enable it. And that way you can change the, um, you can change the offset without having to go through and um, what's the term, you know, disable the weld constraint and then re-enable it. You could just turn that off and on. That's why that's there. All right. Um, hope that helped.